Uh, so if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s, then you know our next guest from her role as the sly vixen, Lucy Ewing in the hit TV series Dallas. A role she landed, I did not realize this, until she was she was only 17 years old. Oh my gosh, she was she really? I know. Oh, wow. Yeah, but she, she was so young. Yeah. yeah. Well, these days, though, she's focusing on other 17 year olds, helping teen foster youths find permanent families with the New York City based national organization, You Gotta Believe, which is celebrating its 10th year and is having a star studded fundraiser this Monday, November 18th at the Town Hall. So please welcome to New York Living, Charlene Tilted. <laughs> Gosh, I love right? this dress. Oh, I love you. The whole thing. You How are you? Hi, right? gorgeous and oh, gorgeous. Mwah. Good to see both of Great you. Great to see you. Thank you. I can't believe you were 17 when you did that show. Oh, oh you my got gosh. It. Yes. Make sure you stay in your camera. And, oh, I'm so, over I know. It's and now I'm 117. Oh, so stop. it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> you look amazing. Oh, look at a little baby. <laughs> wow. Holy. Okay, it's been 46 years since Dallas premiered. I think it's, is that it? I thought it was longer. I thought it was like, <laughs> I think I, it's closer to 50. Is that right? Yeah. And was that your dream role? Was, were you like, this is it? It was because I read the casting notices for it and I read the, the description of Lucy Ewing. It said that she was a manipulative little sex pot, had everything money could buy, um, born with a silver spoon, but she did not have her parents okay ah. and I said oh I get her right her running off with all these guys and all these horrible things she was doing was not I knew what it was I knew mm -hmm. what was inside of okay. her because I had a very similar well not similar upbringing I didn't have the money but I didn't I never knew my father and oh. my mom was in and out of mental institutions so I got Lucy I said mm -hmm. I know why her behavior is the way so it is. you wanted the role yes. but you had to be sly to get it I had just yes Barbara Miller who was our casting director she um, had cast me in other things and she said no she's Charlene's too young she's not experienced enough so I snuck in to Warner Brothers studio <laughs> every day for like about two weeks you know you, don't do that now you you can't do that now <laughs> don't, try, this. don't yeah. try that now but you know big trucks would run, you know drive on the lot and I would run in really and, yeah oh and I would gosh. go to her office and say please please so one day after about two weeks of doing this they said come back tomorrow at five o'clock and I said great can I have Please have a script and sides. They said, nope, we'll just give it to you when you show up tomorrow at oh, five. So I went to the studio at one o'clock that day of my audition where I knew they would be at lunch. <laughs> and I went in <laughs> and um, rifled through the desk and stole, saw a copy of the script, stole it, went work, and worked with Jeff Corey, my acting coach, prepared for the audition and showed up. and. Voila! You sure you shouldn't have worked for the CIA? In this <laughs> I, seriously, right? I was scrappy. That's a good point. <laughs> How fantastic is that? So fantastic. And lucky for us, lucky that you were mm. so scrappy and sly. You're so sweet. Because we got you. to watch you. Mm. Um, you mentioned earlier that you that Lucy's character resonated with you because you had two parents who weren't necessarily ideal right. for you or for anyone else. Right. Um, that is why I work with this wonderful organization based in New York, even though they are, their outreach is national. It's You've Got to Believe. And You've Got to Believe um, really does so much for foster ch children in the foster mm -hmm. care system, focusing on some of the older ones, from older kids from 10 years on, 10 years old and up because they age out of the system at 18. And when they're out, it's oh. bye, don't let the door hit you on the way out, oh, you know, man. kind of thing. And um, what you've got to believe, they, they find these children and they match them with families and then they train the families and they give them ongoing services and, and any help that they would need. Mm -hmm. And then um, it, it, it's such a wonderful organization. They have oh, helped so many that. kids. Because when I was 15, my mother had another nervous breakdown and was institutionalized. So I was going to Hollywood High School at the time. So I lived with a neighborhood friend, stayed on the couch, 
and then I went and stayed with my high school boyfriend's family for a while. But then I got my own apartment mm -hmm. and lived on in an apartment on Hollywood Boulevard, and that's where I lived when I got the part of Dallas. Wow. And the only reason I was able to rent an apartment at that young of an age is because the manager of the apartment building was a very sweet, lovely lady, yeah. but she had drug problems mm -hmm. and was a stripper, and she didn't care. She said, oh sure, goodness. I'll rent to you. Sure, yeah. So, you know, I, that's how I got an apartment. But this organization helps This organization, out people. because I have to tell you, at my age, you know, these kids, they age out and there's right. nowhere to go. They don't have family or resources. Right. So talk about the fundraiser that's going on to yes. help keep this Thank organization yeah, yeah, yeah. running. So Monday night is a fabulous show at the... Uh, town Hall, I believe. The, the, yes, the uh -huh. Town Hall, but it's just called the Town Hall, yeah. which is fabulous. And um, it's called Voices, Stars with Voices. It's some of your best Broadway yeah. performers on the planet. And you've wow. got Rosie Perez and all kinds of wonderful Love performers and, and stars. You will see great shows and hear wonderful and inspiring stories. Mm, yeah. And all the proceeds go to benefit. Um, you've got to believe. You've got to believe. So I'm excited to be a part of it. And you'll meet some of the parents and the foster kids as well as see wonderful performances so it's wonderful yeah i'm excited to be a part of this on monday it's at seven o'clock at town hall so go to you've got to believe dot org get your tickets and you'll have a wonderful wonderful evening of theater and stories yeah, great cause yes thank, thank you. you so much for joining us thank you for having and me and sharing your you. story mm. well thank you for having you're me you're an inspiration you really are uh, you're so sweet thank really you Laura. all right uh, these people are so thank you for having me of course and if you'd like to donate <laughs> and help foster youth you can go to you gotta believe.org